Ah, uh, poor spaceman. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into, do you? Hello again. Doc back with more Star Voyager. Um, finally getting the hang of this game uh, in terms of controls and mechanics, but still trying to figure out other stuff. Um, so, we're going to head down to the planets again. One of these days, I'll figure out which buttons to press. Start is unnecessary. Alright. Should have just be three straight jumps to the next location. Um, this is, it's not an overly exciting game, I'll tell you that. But once we figure things out, um, if I figure this out, I may keep going. If I can't figure things out, figure out more in this uh, in this video, I may just decide to leave this off and just leave it as, you know, a demonstration. What I have determined is that this, this game is definitely as hard as I thought it was. Nothing about this is especially intuitive. Uh, I'm just basically trying to figure my way out here. Um, clearly, also, the enemies are a pain in the rear. Alright, I'm just going to kind of rotate through and see if I can find this planet. It's apparently... Okay, there we are. Target. At least they give me that little beep sound effect and the little circle to tell me what what is where. Because otherwise this game would just be unfair. Oh, okay, it did the slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, okay, I'm landing, I'm landing. Yes! Some measure of success! Would not let me do that last time, so I think maybe you can only visit each planet once? Um... I suppose we'll... maybe find out. Um... Landing... It's another generic city. Uh... Apparently suspended over a pool of raspberry juice. Uh... I'm not going to question the architectural decisions. I'm sure this advanced civilization that is spacefaring knows exactly what they're doing. Okay, I did not press any buttons that time, so clearly I am doing nothing of importance on this planet and just leaving. I'm not even getting a chance to refuel. That's kind of... It's kind of unfair. You're not even going to give me more fuel stuff to get... You know, I'm trying to destroy alien invaders here. Uh, at least I assume they're alien invaders. Uh, there's no reason to think that they're anything else. This is a 1980s star spaceship video game. <laughs> um, oh, but... Okay, the invaders have moved a little bit. <coughs> I think that... Oh yeah, they were moving last time, too. Um, Okay, so let's head to the nearest space station, give myself a little bit of a fuel boost, and then keep going. I suppose while I have the time here, um, well, maybe not talk over, say anything important over the uh, sound of that irritating jump, um, but as long as I have some time here, I'll mention that I am planning to play a bunch of games that I remember from my childhood. Some of them are games that I owned, um, and some of them are games that I just played a couple of times. Um, but all of them I remember playing, um, and I'm interested to find out what they were like, because I honestly, I don't remember most of them. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, come on, space station? Yeah, there we are. I'm pretty sure that I'm probably misremembering some of them. That some of them weren't as difficult as I thought they were. Some of them were maybe more difficult as I th 
than I thought. Um, maybe some of them were more fun or less fun than I remember. It's, it's kind of a nostalgia series. That's what I'll call it. Nostalgia series. Um, and just kind of take a nostalgia trip, figure out what the games are really like, and go from there. Get my impressions of them. Right now, my impression of Star Voyager is that it is about as difficult and boring as I remember it being when I was uh, when I was playing it when I was young. I don't even remember when what age I was that I got this game. It clearly was beyond my ability to play at that time. Oh, wait a second. Um. You know, maybe I'm just crazy, but I could have sworn the planets were in different orientation before. Didn't I... Didn't I make a corner jump from... Huh. Okay. Maybe time pass... Maybe there's a little bit of passage of time here. Um, which actually would be a pretty nice touch. Uh, but it needs to also make... Uh, it, there's really no indication that such a thing is going to happen. It's kind of confusing. Okay, but I'm going to keep going. Um, get to the next planet. Uh, yeah, I'll go to the next planet. Maybe there's... the enemies will probably be, end up being nearby once I'm done with that. So I may have to head to the space station afterwards, just to make sure that I'm as high health as I can be. I wonder if you can only visit the space stations once, too. That that would be bad. That would mean that I'm each of these visits I'm making to the space station is kind of ruining me. Well... I don't think I'm going to be playing this game the whole way through, to be honest. I don't think it's going. <laughs> I don't think it's going to hold my interest long enough. Okay. Um, but I would like to see what that little cluster thing is there. Um, that's got to be something. Maybe it's an asteroid belt. It's not much of a belt. Uh, asteroid field, maybe. Or maybe it's another instant death hazard, like the black hole. <laughs> that... <laughs> I still can't believe that happened. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. Um, okay, oop, uh, going to planet... Planet Lemon again. Okay, landing! Managed to successfully land on this planet, too. Um, it's it's very yellow, very yellow. Goodness gracious! Um, so is there going to be anything here? That's uh, nope. Doesn't look like it. Mountains and city. That's exactly the same as the previous ones, except that it's uh, built on a sea of lemonade. I would like to go to this planet someday and learn how it generates such lemonade. Because, as far as I know, that's not a naturally occurring liquid in the environment of Earth. As far as I know. Uh, I mean, you can debate that it occurs in lemons, but this is freestanding lemonade. And uh, there's definitely no freestanding lemonade production in this planet. Um... The invaders have moved again, but I need to move to a space station. Uh, let's jump! Let's jump! Let's jump! 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 Yeah, that will get annoying even faster than these sound effects. I will not do that again. Well, maybe once more. Space station nearby. Where is it? 
This. You know, it okay, there we are. I think it's uh, it's a little bit difficult to figure out what directions you should be heading right off the bat because usually it's not clear. It's not clear exactly where you're gonna find your quarry. I have to slow down. I have to be going. I think I have to be going slowly to get into the space stations or planets. I think what I'll do is I'll pause the recording here and then and then take on the invaders in the next video and hopefully get to that asteroid belt or whatever it is. I'm sure they'll tell me once I get there, but not a moment sooner. Um, until next time, this is Doc, and I will be back with more of this. Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, we'll find out. This is Doc. See you later.